big screen. I want this big screen. Halo. Yo. Even though this technology will save humanity in the war to come. And Scotana. I must remind Gen myself. Three. Liquid crystal cannot rise on its own. Ah. Titanium alloy cannot prevail in the face of extinction. Oh, that's Halsey, isn't it? That's not Cortana, that's Halsey. Cannot hope. It all means nothing. Ooh. Until there. Until you step inside. Sorry, that, was that life action? Come. Come what? I swear if that's a slip space engine, Jesus Christ, that is Mwah. magnifique. <gasps> it's the thing! That's what is gonna We got birds! Ow! I just hit a wall! <laughs> Am I dead already? I, I must be, I mean. Bro hammer. This is a punishment, right? Yep, this is death. Wait, oh, okay. No. That's a turret. No. No, 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 no. How can a pelican take that much? I'm going to have to make an emergency landing. Hold on, shit. Oh, serious combo of all hot vibes. He doesn't even no, care. Oh, I'll be safe. <laughs> safe? I haven't been safe since I found you. I found you, remember? You were out there on your own and you'd still be out there if it wasn't for me. I thought I was going home. There won't be a home if we don't stop the banished. Oh, I keep saying that. We're outgunned, outnumbered. It's always been like that, I know though. I saw condors over there. I'm going to dig through them and find one with the working sleep space drive. And when you're done with this war, we'll get away from here. Far Was that com Did he say condor? Wait here. I remember what they oh. are. Please. Let me see what I can find. That looks like a forge ops In the when back. back. We can look. Together. Or oh, this is like more like Heli 4, more of a okay, big guy. you know, like the human side of chief, you know. <gasps> Gameplay! Oh, <laughs> okay, there's grappling hooks. Wait, this is okay. That's like old grunts. Damn this pixelation. Yeah, like old grunts with new armor. Ah. Uh. So. The salt rifle, the the salt rifle checks here doesn't look quite right. Oh, those sprint. Ah, you just gotta give it a sushi sort of grappling hook. Let's be real. Bit of a shame. App. It is open world. <laughs> it's open world. That's what. That's why it was five years.
Ah, <laughs> uh, the grunts. Mm. Yeah, everything has a bit of a rubbery, like, Lego look to it, almost. Oh, that elite. That that kind of reminds me of a... Okay, that's a DMR in here. No, that's not a DMR. That's new. I, I like the screw, uh, screw, uh, screen effect. Oh, that's a brute. Banished looking great as ever. Oh, uh, why? Oh, okay, so they got, uh... They got, like, physical bits of armor you gotta shoot off. Okay, there's armor abilities. Right. Yeah, yeah, the shame about this pixelation. Okay, that was a jump through. Okay, yeah, you got, like, individual... Bi okay, that's the uh, thing from Mega Box. Yeah, you gotta shoot off individual bits of armor pieces. Right, I get you. Yeah, everything kind of has like a rubbery look to it, kind of plasticky. Yeah, that's why. Is that the Palace of Pain, like in the top left corner there? Just past. I doubt it, since that's so close to the starting area. Look at the birds, though. The Magnum looks like from Halo 2. That's that's good. Yeah, everything just kind of has a. Pla okay, that's a jackal, classic jackal. Oh, it's a burst, kind of... I don't even know. What even is... It's like a burst grenade launcher, maybe. Oh, what was that? Oh, you got a Venet. Covenant ba Battle Rifle. Okay, health's there. See, health at the top. How are they gonna top this though? That's the mauler. Look at the radical for it. Okay, there was like a. Okay, that's good. It's not like a. It's not like you can only uh, grapple certain spots. It is. Uh, you can grapple wherever. You can grapple stuff to you. Oh -ho -ho! They're going like a. Okay, no, it's it's not the. Uh... It's not the... Oh, I can move her. It's a different thing. It just looks like the move. It's like a needle. Like a single shot needle. Weapon. That's a shotgun. Yeah, that's like a... You know what? I need to stop trying to break this down. Okay, elites and brutes are the same thing. Yeah, I need to stop trying to break this down. Just react. Far so good though. Oh. Oh, what's this gonna be then? UNSC lost this war months ago. Your people are broken, scattered, hunted, defeated. I wish I could tell you it was difficult, but it wasn't. Okay, Atriox isn't in the game good. <laughs> we are one step ahead, always. The ring is already under our control. Yeah, it's the same brute from the Soon, teaser. the auditorium as well. <sighs> the Harbinger and the Banished share the same. The Harbinger. We fight together. To honor the will of Atriox. But without challenge, I grew weary, lost, alone. But here you now stand. Oh, he's right there. This is my last. Fight. A true test of legends. Our story will outlive us both. <sighs> Set a fire in your heart, Spartan. Bear your fangs. Fight hard. Die.
Holiday 2020. Give us a release date, please. Ah. Hey, I'm just going to have to work hard to outbeat that, uh oh. <laughs> What a strong start to Xbox's event. They didn't really get anything that topped that afterwards, or even came close to be fair, but uh, they, they got pretty close at points. Highlights being Fable, the Warhammer 40k game, and Stalker 2. I have no clue how they got the rights to do that, but that's neither here or there, because we are here for Halo. And that's what we'll talk about. So without further ado, let's get into the breakdown. Immediately we're greeted with the main menu for Halo Infinite. We've got some wildlife there, birds in, in the corner. I'm, I'm sorry for the, the bar and the terrible video quality. I couldn't get it any higher, which sucks, but it is what it is, I suppose. And you got the kind of stone rings from the 2018 trailer. And then you got some like blue lighting in the Halo Infinite thing, it, and then the Halo ring in the back. This is honestly gorgeous though, like, and it, it does really remind me of uh, Halo Reach's main menu as well. It's just, just beautiful, look at this, it's just, it's just great. And then, obviously straight into the action, it's got action even. Got the turrets, and then, uh, you got Brohammer here. Yeah, condors. I don't. Maybe I'm just stupid and don't know my Halo lore, but I I don't remember condors. So, if they're something that exists, there'll be an image on the screen. If they don't, then yeah, they don't exist and they're new. So, new vehicle confirmed, maybe. And then you get the. Chief always on uh got his priorities straight and then seamless transition into uh, gameplay you know we, we got some wildlife just ambient wildlife birds there and then some like mole rat things that 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 bit of debris there it really does look like a forge object so yeah, that just looks great. And then we got the grunts here. These are like classic grunts. These are like classic grunts. I saw a, a zoomed in image of a, of a grunt. I'll put that on screen. I mean, if it is classic, it then it's classic, you know. You'll be able to see yourself. I'll, I'll add text or something. I don't, I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> just blabbering at this point. It just looks... We got, got a new, like, uh, part, like HUD element for... Um, when your shields are recharging, see here, just something uh, visual to go with the auditory indication that uh, your shields are recharging. Looks really cool. I really, really actually like that touch. Then we got the infinity there. That's like the front of the infinity. Is it? Well, at least that's what it appears to be. There's a phantom there, and and you got like these. Wait, maybe there's a better picture here shot here yeah like, like you've got um these pillars here and like the xbox series x reveal there there were there was a halo infinite section and there was like some pillars like this and most people just assumed it was just unrelated thing but no like we got the pillars here so there may be something more to that than meets the eye you know and then we have sprint I suppose sprint makes sense within the context of an open world game because I mean if you lose your warthog or something or a vehicle you know you can't find a vehicle then yeah that's it's not gonna be very fun walking about just like like even games like uh, that have a sprint that are open world just like without fast travel and stuff it is it is a nightmare to to get about like my my god is it not the best thing ever Got a wall. Looks like the three four three design. Uh, honestly, I don't. I don't really care about the warthog designs. Like the warthogs, I actually cannot tell the difference. Really, well, I can. That's a lie. I know. I, I know the difference. But if you ask me, what is the difference? I wouldn't be able to tell you. Okay, so here's the the map. Now, 
on, on Hidden Xperia's stream, the guy he had there, he pointed out it could be like a Metroid Vania with like uh, the sections that you can't go progress through without a certain ability. And like the reason why I think he said that is because, I mean, look, look at this little island here. There's no way to get to uh, all the other bits. There's there's just no way you can do it. So so maybe it's like that. You're locked off to a certain area until you un unlock a new upgrade. Uh, to progress through, so like examples of Metroidvania games is uh, Castlevania, uh, Metroid, and Hollow Knight. Uh, we got upgrades there, so probably something like uh, uh, Doom Eternal, the type of upgrades you had in there, that's probably what that would be like. So some sort of RPG element database, that's probably like a, your missions objectives, like uh, lore and stuff goes there. We got zoom, set waypoint, close, mission pre, yeah, view missions. So maybe you're like in the open world, but you can select the mission you do or something within the open world, within the map. I don't know. And then I think that says player. So I think that's just a lock straight onto players or cycle through, you know, like jump to players and cycle through them and stuff. And then there's obviously the AA cannons and stuff. They've got like this very similar description there. They need to be destroyed before you can progress. And see, it's not like it's just a cluster of like on your uh, 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 motion tracker of just like point markers and stuff. No, it's just one way, you know, little thing, arrow pointing there, and you still got to work out the way you just know the general direction, which I think is a good compromise between how open water is traditionally done compared to how it is. Like how I think it should be done, where it's very minimalist and stuff. And see, like right there, we got a a Grunt Ultra, which is yeah. So we got Grunt Ultras are back, and in a minute, Chief shoots off his helmet. See, and he obviously he dies to the explosion. That's a that's a classic elite right there. It kind of reminds me. See, like everything about him is classic. You got the. Jewel and everything. He, that is a classic elite right there. I, I'm, I apologize for the lack of quality. The armor kind of reminds me of some fan art of like a quote unquote improved version of the uh, uh, of the Halo 5 and 4 armor. So here's the uh, uh, here's the new weapon and if I can get it here it says Uh, pick up the VK seven seventy eight commando. I think that's what it says, and it says something there, and then auto, also like it says stuff there, and then also, and this is on all the other weapons on the trade. I'll put it out, but I think this is like the RPG, like the RPG upgrade elements and stuff. Like there's different variations on like fire rate and damage types potentially I, I don't I don't know I'm just spitballing on what that could mean like gameplay in it in, 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 I'm not even gonna bother, try to say that word um <laughs> god I cannot speak English um upgrades and stuff so when well, if we get back here as you can see it's fully automatic it's like a fully automatic precision weapon and we and just the thing I just want to put out because it doesn't really come up anywhere else. ADS doesn't show up unless there's a scope or something on a weapon, which is cool. But yeah, They're a fully automatic precision weapon. It's probably gonna trigger the tryhards. And then obviously we got brutes here. See, he starts. See, he starts to charge, and uh, you sh chief shoots off uh, some of the armor. So that's how they how they're doing it. They're like uh, the brutes are, but you've got to shoot off individual pieces, and then you can do the actual damage to the brute, which I, I think is uh, well, it's a new take on it. Certainly, it's you you don't really see that a lot in shooters. So, and then he goes to pick up this pick up drop wall, and then obviously we see this here, just like the deployable cover before, but you can shoot through it, but enemies can't hit you with it, which is pretty cool. This is like a I don't know, like 
Well, it's not a chieftain, but it's just a high ranking brute. See, it's a jump brute. He's got a jetpack, but like, uh, where is it? There we go. So you can like grapple onto enemies and bring you closer, kind of like the meat hook from Doom. And then he throws a grenade on. Now, what was the name of that gun there? It was the the Ravenger. And then obviously there was all the little informations, bits about its fire rate and stuff. See, look, more stone pillars again. Look, there was a bit of flicker in there. Like right there. Yeah, see, like stuff, if you look at the mountain range here, stuff pops in and out. Now, I reckon that could be because it's on running on an Xbox, like 1X. And, and the reason I think that is because, well, companies generally do that on their sh video game companies generally do that on their showcases so that you don't get people on lower range uh, stuff complaining about how it it doesn't look like how they after advertise and stuff. So that's what that can be in the fact that there is like we're not that far off and there is literally like no grass whatsoever and that could be why just optimization for the Xbox One. So if it's not then you're not having too much of a downgrade on the Xbox One or lower end PCs so it, and it still looks beautiful I mean look at this it still looks great and then we get the thing on the official renders what people reckon is the Palace of Pain and I don't think it is because of the fact it's so close to the like starting area where you spawn or at least for the demo you spawn and uh, I don't think something with the implications that the Palace of Pain could have like the flood being introduced into the, the game which traditionally ha happens around halfway point uh, would be so close to the starting area so I reckon it's not the Palace of Pain. Beautiful shot of the Halo ring, more birds, ambient wildlife and stuff. Just, just listen to the music. And then classic Jackal right there. And I don't think you see any of the free for free designs of Jackals. Which, in my opinion, the free for free Jackal design, I actually prefer it to the original Jackal design. I mean, that's my personal preference and stuff. And honestly, I see it as a bit of a shame, but I'm, I'm not. It's like, it's, just, it's like whatever, like literally nitpick. <laughs> Like, it's a jackal. <laughs> the birdie thing, su suicide grunt. I mean, the particle effects are just on point. Venting returns from Halo Reach. And then we get this. Now, this is actually a... It says on its name. If I could actually be, do this properly. See, carbine. Pulse carbine. So maybe this is different to the carbine, or maybe it is just the carbine. Maybe, maybe like they're they're doing wreck variants again, but instead of uh, wrecks, it's um, yeah, color colorations and fancy paint jobs and stuff on the wreck weapons it's literally just like their fire type and stuff and it has like a different name and that's the Mol Mollinger Ma Mangular Mang Mangular yeah don't don't trust me with these pronunciations I, I'm I'm so dyslexic I cannot read now the grappling hook is like and so it, it appears to be like so thankfully you can just point and fire with the grappling hook you don't you I feared that you'd only be able to like do corners or something that was really limitating which could be the case in multiplayer to keep you know map design and stuff you know balancing and stuff like that but uh, it doesn't appear like there is uh, player agency or at least a lot of it it seems to be a very linear path 
Now, this could just be like the, the person playing the game isn't actually, uh, you know, trying to do something fancy with this, but... Okay, I need to explain myself better. So, grappling hook, my personal preference for how grappling hooks should work is Titanfall 2, it's the way you do it, and there's a lot of player agency with how you can move about with the grappling hook. You can really, like, swing yourself around with it. Now, it appears that there is that to an extent, but... I mean, only time will tell how much of an extent there is. See, classic grunts right there. Got your little face mask on and stuff. That that actually looks really good. Yet again, I apologise for the lack of, like, the very pixelated thing. Halo 5 grunt right there, classic grunt. And then you pick up the fusion core or whatever it's called. And yeet it, so... That, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so like the Marauders, the Mauler or whatever it's called, is uh, like a single fire thing. Now he goes to pick up the shotgun. This is a bulldog, and it's shotgun, kinetic, and then spread. See, so that's that's like the RPG elements again, being listed and stuff, and it's a. Uh, so it's not the sh shotgun, it's a, it's a different shotgun, it's not like the shotgun as we've known it before. So maybe the shotgun's in it, maybe it's not. And you got a drum and it's... it is pump action though. Elites and, elites and brutes in the same thing. See, there's like a... The grunt there, he kind of clips... Clips through the walls and... I suppose it is a demo, so there's gonna be a lack of... A bit of a lack of polish and stuff. I mean, the game isn't out until months yet, so ain't got time to polish it. And here comes the big bad. Did they now? Yeah, they are really trying to tell a more human story with this game than, uh, like, just like Fallout. No, Fallout. Hey, Halo 4. Uh, which is good. I, I, Halo 4's story, redeeming quality, I think, was the human element. Okay, look. The Infinity, there's like fragmented bits of the Infinity. So the Infinity is destroyed. Because uh, you've got just like fragments of the Infinity everywhere. And then. Yeah. Uh, the Victorium, I suppose, will be all be revealed in time, I suppose, is... We're just gonna have to wait for that. Unless someone else has found it out or something. I don't know. And then, same with the Harbinger. So I'd, I'd really just recommend watching other people's first faults and breakdowns and stuff, because I'm only, I'm only one guy. I, I don't know everything. But, yeah, so the too long, not, don't read. This is just so Halo, like... Just the look, the the sounds, the sights. I mean, it's just all Halo, and probably the music though. Like this is just awesome. Yeah, uh, I'm not too sure about this. I don't think this would be like, oh, boss fight as soon as you spawn and stuff. I reckon what this is is uh, just a bit for this trailer, perhaps. Like he's he's still like the hologram stuff is all there, but as soon as he he, he becomes there, it's it stops. It's just a bit for the trailer. Now, how this ties into the 2019 trailer we saw, I reckon. They were bought. No, they are like sucked into a ship. They were boarded or something, and then they escaped. So like the opening level would be like, uh, like like Combat Evolved. Very very much these two levels would be like Combat Evolved. You got the close quarters corridor shooter stuff, like very, just like Combat Evolved, the first mission of Combat Evolved, and then this opens up just like Halo in Combat Evolved, and you get to drive about and stuff. So, yeah, this is just Halo. Like, I am, 
I'm so I was so excited just to see more. I I honestly can't wait. They promised in the next couple of months for more stuff, and I suspect more stuff would be multiplayer stuff plus story, perhaps. Uh, yeah, honestly, I can't I can't wait. The video on screen is on 343's YouTube channel if you want to watch the video without me talking over it. General Key Team mentioned this, that uh, the build used in the first gameplay trailer we saw in the live uh, showcase is actually like six months old, so that was like Halo Infinite six months ago. I don't know where he got that information, but that's just what he mentioned in his video and the saw in the second trailer is the trailer that's on screen is a newer build of the game so everything you saw in the in the trailers is still being changed and worked upon now i'm not going to break down the video on screen mainly because a lot of the stuff that's been talked about already is in there and the fact that this video is getting long enough already i do recommend you watch other creators videos because you know i'm, I'm one guy i don't i don't know everything as i prove when i literally started the breakdown i didn't know what a condor was and i feel like such an idiot especially since i literally just played halo wars 2 a minute ago so yeah i could easily see everything i theorized about not actually being in uh, the actual game yeah i do recommend you you see other people's opinions and videos and stuff like that read forum posts stuff like that it's general rule of thumb with this type of theorizing and leak stuff always see other people's opinions and stuff don't take my word as gospel the video on your left will be my video on my theory for halo infinite story this video was made months before the banished teaser so there may be some stuff that doesn't quite add up but the video as a whole does make sense and could still be viable with what we know now and i'll see you guys in the next one